tayo. We understand that light travels at almost 186,000 miles per second, which is really fast, almost instantaneous, the small distance between you and I. But when we look at objects that are really, really, really far away, it takes a certain amount of time for that light to reach our eyes until we've realized that when we look up into the night sky, the light from the closest star took 4.2 years to reach us. So when we look at that star, we are seeing it how it was over four years ago. But most stars are even farther away. Their light traveling for hundreds or thousands or millions or billions of years for us to witness. And so when we look at the stars, we are seeing them how they were when our ancestors roamed this earth. So in a very real way, when we look up into the sky, we are peering through a portal to the past. It is the closest thing we have to time travel. But the thing is, there are billions and billions of stars that we can't even see with our naked eyes. So sometime in the 1600s, we figured out how to build telescopes to see them, to see billions of years into our universe's past with even more clarity. Sometimes we need a little something extra to see more clearly. Which brings us to today, where some of us are proposing to build the 30 meter telescope or the TMT on Mauna Kea in Hawaii, but you see the TMT is more than just a telescope. It'll be one of the biggest telescopes humankind has ever built, 18 stories tall with a footprint of five acres, providing 12 times more clarity than the Hubble Space Telescope to give us the ability to focus even better on the earliest moments of our universe so we can tell the story more clearly on how we got here. But even more important than that is that the TMT is more than just a telescope. It's that something extra that we needed to help us see more clearly. It's a catalyst that has awakened a movement that has provided us the ability to see with more clarity Hawaii's past. The ability to focus even better on the earlier moments of our nation so we can tell the story more clearly on how we got here. You see, the TMT is more than just a telescope. It's a time travel portal to the past. It's a time travel portal to Iolani Palace, a sacred stolen land where an indigenous people stood to protect our government from being illegally overthrown by treasonous businessmen in the 1890s. It's a time travel portal to Koho'olawe, a sacred stolen land where an indigenous people stood to protect one of our islands from being bombed by the United States government in the 1970s. It's a time travel portal to Mauna Kea, a sacred stolen land where an indigenous people now stand Ku to protect Kia'i, our mountain, Mauna, Ku, Kia'i, Mauna, from the further desecration and environmental degradation as a time travel portal to the same story of broken treaties and broken trust told and retold and retold around this globe through the hoarse voices of indigenous people. But this time, we stand while the world is watching. See, there are other places that the telescope can be built, you know. Other places where the science will be the same. Top of the list is the Canary Islands in Spain. And we understand that science is science no matter where it takes place. And the secrets of the universe will be revealed to us through a TMT in Spain. So if you find yourself in the pro-TMT on Mauna Kea camp, please understand that we do not understand your reasons why. Is it about money? Really? That one dollar a year that the state will charge for rent, plus the promise of jobs, jobs, jobs for people mainly not from Hawaii and tax revenue that will benefit who? And how many? How much money do you need to gain to outweigh the pain of the thousands of us who agree that this sacred stolen land is not for sale? How many times must we all bear witness to the same abuses before we break the cycle? See, our ancestors, used to look up to the stars too, you know. They used the stars as a roadmap to figure out where they had been and where they were navigating to. And so when we stand at the top of Mauna Kea and look up to Hokulea, we are reminded of our portal to the past. Our ancestors sent out the roadmap to protect our land. And while that message took over 100 years to reach us like the stars in our night sky, we can see clearly now. Yeah. Because sometimes, 
need a little extra something to see more clearly. And that is why we kukia imauna while we stand for Mauna Kea. Whee!